this is the website we are going to be building you can see the beautiful color schema and then you can see this beautiful uh, design that strokes through and as it goes the color of the text of the heading here it changes and we use a very very wonderful font here you can see the button and you can see this header here with this wave this water wave running through it and it's on the background of the text and then the text has this beautiful outline and you also see this uh, cards here as i hover through the color changes it is inverted what was down here comes up and it has a button to then it has our our services we are offering and you can click here to the button to see that particular service then you see our passwords here you see the text if i highlight it it turns to white and it has that beautiful outline then these are some of our portfolios and these are testimonials you see if i hover over any of these testimonials you see the effect you see the color effect on it and this is a slider <clears throat> this is the testimonial slider and then we have this footer you see when i bring my mouse over this color this uh, picture it implodes it implodes or it uh it, 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 it bulges out so this is for the testimonials you see this beautiful layout here and if i come to my portfolio you see uh, we have sample works and then if i come to my contact page you see we have this contact form and then we have our google maps form and then we still have the testimonials this is a simple but very stylish website if you have such a website there is no doubt in the fact that anybody that lands there will be very very much assured that you are able to do what you can do so i will want us to go to the next stage of this tutorial for you to build a website you need to host it which means you need web hosting my two recommendations are hostinga and e2 hosting so when you come to hostinga you just log in and you can choose your plan e2 hosting you see when you use my link this is my link up here i'm going to put it in the description it gives you up to 84 percent off so what used to cost you see this is 84 dollars this used to cost about i think about six or seven dollars per month it's now 195 so i have an 85 percent code discount code uh, link in the description of this video it doesn't cost you anything actually you instead save money and it helps me to continue to make videos like this so choose any of those by using the links in the description and all every other asset i'll use in this uh, video i'm also going to put the link in the description thank you and see you let's get on with the video chances are when you first land on your wordpress dashboard this is what you are going to see you're going to see this welcome to wordpress and all of this for the sake of keeping my screen clean i often prefer to come to screen options and turn all of this off i will turn all of this off except side health status uh, at least if your site is running slowly you can get a notification from here so if you go to post you are just going to see this hello world you go to pages of course uh, you see the sample pages uh, you come to appearance this is the theme you have this is the theme you have which is a 2024 theme but for our purposes i can just click on add new i want to change the theme and i'll just install this hello elemental theme click on install it's installing activate it it's going to tell you you need to install elemental we are going to come to that later on come to plugins here you can install all the plugins that you need i'm going to first of all click on add new and then i'm going to search for elementor 
this is elemental here he's searching you could just do it here i want you to see for those who, who are doing this for their first time how you can install a plugin on element on wordpress i'll click on install install that and then you can also install this one essential add-ons for elementor any other uh, plugins we need we are going to do that later on so these two are installed uh, if i come back to install plugins you will see both of them here what i can just do is to just select both of them and i want to activate so both of them are active now essential add-ons is asking us to do some setup just leave it as it is and click on next and then this is what the free plan gives you now there are other uh, items here which you can only get if you're on the pro plan for most of these we are not going to use them we are not going to use most of these but i think we can use these we can uh, turn this off flip box we can turn that off simple menu turn that off post grid yes we can use that uh, tab sticker all of this nft gallery turn that off data table off image accordion we can leave that filterable gallery yes countdown let's leave that progress bar leave that uh, turn it on and then let's just go to next and then it's telling you to upgrade to pro no we don't want that skip template now let's come back to users all users now these are the people who have accounts on this website if your website were maybe an lms website or an e-commerce website where there are so many people uh, who have created their accounts here you will see, be able to see all of them here you can add a new user you can change your password let me just click on edit you see here i can change a lot of things here I can change the language uh, my, of my dashboard. Maybe I'm a Dutch person, I can change it to Dutch. I can change my uh, first name here, my last name, my nickname, and then the display public name. I can also change my email address. I can add my website and then I can attach my Gravata profile here. I can also change my password here. I can change my password here so when i do that and wordpress can generate me a new password that is it and then i'll update my profile we can now explore settings um it prompts me to leave i'll cancel and i'll just see if i'll update my password i just changed my password without knowing without even knowing anyway i'll go ahead with it the way it is so what i'm going to do now i'll come to settings uh, and you can change the name of your your website here let me just say do not do i'll say do not do do not do systems or systems and then you can change all of this here do you want this to be a membership website if yes then you put uh, you toggle this button on so that anybody can register but in our case we don't want it to be that way you can also change the date format and all that and very importantly come to uh, reading this is where you're going to choose the home page so for now we don't have any pages we have created so we'll leave this one the way it is but we'll return to it shortly then come to permalinks it's also very important especially for seo and your permalink structure should be post name and then you can save changes so now we can go back to pages <coughs> i want to create a page uh check out the essential blocks no we will not uh, we will not add that uh, i can trash these two pages delete you can delete these two pages and then add a new page yes then i'll name this home i want to publish it i'll publish it here and then i want to edit it with elementor let me right click and go to view page so here's a page we have the hello elementor theme 
and it's showing me the title of my website and also the page. I will click on edit with Elementor. So here I'm prompted um, to use Elementor AI. I'll just say let's do it. Even though I'm not going to. I'll just close that. I want to come back to the back end of my website. When you look at this Elementor Builder right now, you see you can change a lot of stuff here. So I'll just come to the back end of my website and I want to come to settings for Elementor. I come to Elementor, click on settings and then come to feature. I want to activate all of this. It has a lot of um, stuff that is going to add to your page. Header and footer uh, for Hello theme, build with AI, lazy load and all that. It's very helpful for your website. I'll activate all then I'll save. I want to come to general. Yes, I'll just toggle those two on and save. And then I'll come back to my website. I can. I can reload the page. So what I want to do here, I want to click on this settings here. And I want to toggle on hide, hide title. And then I want to choose the page layout, element of full width. And you see that title is going to disappear. That is that. Now I want to start building my website. So when it comes to pictures, if you need pictures, you can come to pixels.com. And this is a website where you can download free stock pictures. So uh, let's say if you own, uh, let's say, a website about animals, you can just search here for animals. And it's going to give you animals. I don't know why it didn't show me, it didn't give me a search animal. Let me just say animal. Or well, let me say good. Somehow Elementor is not responsive. Uh, sorry, Pexas is not responsive today. It's showing me the same things. Good. If I say lawyer, let me choose something which I previously searched for. Uh, this one it shows me. Uh, if I say good or oh, have the animal rights activists visited these people and it now shows so you can use you can use any of these stock pictures here for your for your for your website in my case i already have my own pictures which i want to use and when it's time i'm going to be bringing them out so i'm going to come here and what i want to do is first of all i want to add a section I want to add a section here and then it will be flexbox this first grid and then I want to make the background to be black so to do that click on style click on these six dots click on style come to background type click normal then click color and then you can choose I want it to be black I now want to add a text widget there so this is it heading not text but head it i will drag it and put it there to drag it you just click and drag and then i want to write the title of my website the audio systems and i want this to be centered click on style go to center then i want to change the text color i want the text color so i want to make this to be global so the primary is color let me click on manage global colors so that I will not have to be changing this all the time. So for primary, I'm going to make this to be white. This secondary should be yes, yeah, something of that sort, secondary black. And then text should also be kind of blackish. <clears throat> and then this one. I'm going to give it a color. Now, let me use the color of my my own portfolio website. I want to use the color scheme. 
having picked that color i'm going to drop it here it's a very nice color then i'm going to save changes so i can do the same thing for global font uh, the primary font should be i'll have this to be poppins and then i'm going to have it to be 700 and then i'm going to have it to be let's just see let's make this 40. The secondary i'm going to let's say for text i'm going to have it to be ubuntu ubuntu and then i have not this is text ubuntu i'm going to have it to be 16 and then the text 400 that's the width i'm going to save changes let's say secondary i can have this to also be poppins but this time around it should be 30 it should be 30 and it should be 600 i can now go ahead and save changes that is that so for typography for team style i think i will just leave this the way it is for now then i can just close this so you see automatically the um, the font here has changed but i can now go ahead and change and it is now 40 but i want it to be bigger than this i want it to be let's say i want it to be maybe 110 and if i publish this and then i view the page in large mode that is what it looks like now what i want to do is that i want to increase the top padding of this section um the top padding i want to make it or oh, not even the top padding but i want to increase the minimum height the minimum height should be let's say 400 i'll make this to be 400 because i'm going to add some other elements here 400 okay now another thing i want to do is i want to justify the content to be center so that is that now i want to change certain things about this text i want to do a custom uh, effect on this text and we are going to be using custom css i'm going to drop the custom css now for me to be able to use custom css i'll need to come to advanced and come down to custom css you need elementor pro for this if you need if you continue with this tutorial and one, one or two other things which i'm going to be doing you need elementor pro in order to be able to do this i'm going to leave the link to elementor pro my affiliate link if you buy it doesn't cost you anything extra but if you buy i make a little commission which helps me to continue making videos like this so i'm just going to go ahead now to the back end of my website and then i want to come to plugins add new and i want to install elementor pro i'll click on add new then i need to click and choose elementor pro i already have it downloaded on my computer if i click on choose file <coughs> it brings me here and that's elementor pro i'll install right now it's installing i will just activate it right now and if i now come here let me publish this first of all always make sure to publish your work whenever you do and it make any changes if i reload this right now and i now and i'll come back to this text come to advanced and i go to custom css you see we now have this field this is an elementor pro feature so I have some custom css i will drop in here which is going to give it an, an effect a special effect like you saw on the demo i'll just drop the code here right now so you see that is the code right off the bat you don't see anything and there's a reason for that let me save this first and here's the reason when i walk through the code i can already pick out one or two errors let me fix those 
So I went ahead and fixed that. It was just a little uh, glitch. So you can see we have this animation here. <laughs> this is the animation we have. And we can change the color of this text. I'll just click here and I'll come back to uh, style. And I want to change this text to be black. So you see it now, we ha now have this uh, effect which goes over this. Now if I come to back to my CSS, I can change the thickness of this outline here. Maybe it's now six, uh, you know, two PX. I could make this five PX. You see, it's now thicker. I would not want to do that. As a matter of fact, I may even want to make it one PX. Well, let's just say two. I'll maintain it to be two. And then I can come back to style. And I want to increase the size of this text, maybe to 120. You could even change the uh, font. Let's say I could use big shoulder display since it is slimmer. So I could use a larger, uh, you know, a larger size, 190. And if I do that, I could also make this 900. If I do that and I preview this, download you. So it's, uh, it's not looking very good because it cuts off the page. So I will do this. I will increase, I will make it one, it should be on the same line, on one line. If it's not on one line, it's going to cut off. So let's make this 162. And now, how does it look? This is how it looks on the website. It is pretty good. So we want to go ahead, we want to add some elements on that here. The first thing I'll do is, first of all, I want to come back here and I want to give this, a, 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 you know, the line height, the minimum height, I want it to be broader than this. We could make this 450, 450. And then I want to come to still this uh, same element. I want to come to advanced. I want to give it a top padding of, let's just see. I want to increase the top padding by 20 or by 40. So it gives it more of an uh, more of space up there. I don't think let's say 60. Yes. So now below these elements, I want to add some text. I could add some text. Uh, text editor below here. Uh, you could write whatever you want. I will come to Lorem Ipsum generator. Lorem Ipsum generator. Lorem Ipsum.io. Or let me say Lorem Ipsum generator English. This is the one I was looking for. So I'll just copy some text from here. This may be too much, but I'll just copy that can reduce the text while it's on. Let me reload this page. Let's see it on the front end. Okay, I didn't save it. I'll paste the text here. It's too long, of course. I'll reduce it this way. And then I want to come to the style tab. I'll make it white. So you see it's already Ubuntu, which was the font we chose. I'll align it center. I want the text to be, you know, maybe 18. let's say 20 but i want to give it uh patterns on the both sides so that the text is going to be on two lines so the left padding is going to be 80 the right padding is going to be 80. it still doesn't give me that effect let me do 180 and 180 so it's on two lines right now i also now <coughs> want to add a button beneath here i'll come to uh my widgets and this is the button widget i'm going to add it there so you see it already inherits this color which is the main color the primary color for our website so what i want to do is that i want to come to style i'll just see um learn more before coming to style I'll click i'll say learn more and then i'll come to style 
I will align this to the center. Then the typography, of course, I want to change this to be, let's say, poppins. I want this to be poppins. And then I want this button. I want a gradient. I want this text to be black. I want the text to be black. So the text color, I want it to be black. And I, not just that, but I want it to, it's poppins. I want this to be 600. And then I want to increase the size to be 16 or 18. Then the border radius, I want it to be rounder. Rounder. But before going to the border radius and making it uh, that round, I want to, uh, you know, increase the top padding. I'll increase the top padding. I want the top padding to be 25. 25 the bottom padding should also be 25 or let's say 22 top 22 bottom or 2020 not 2020 as in the year but 20 on each side and then this should be let's say 35 not 350 but 35 and then the left should also be 35 what I want to do is that I want this button to be rounder. So it should be round. I can make it 25. And then I want it to have a border. It should have a white border. I will get the border. So the border type should be solid. And it should be the width should be two. And then the color should be white. But now, I want a gradient. I want a gradient. So the button, I want it instead of being just a solid background, it should be a gradient. And the location should be 90. No, not 90. But the gradient, <clears throat> rather the gradient should be radial. So something like this. If you like, you can leave it that way. And the second color should be white. So you see, it gives it kind of a fade, fade color, a fade effect. So the position uh, for the gradient, you can change it as you like. You can change it as you like. You know, the more you change it, you see the effects over there. So that is the position for the gradient. And also, you can... The position for this one you can make it center right i'm just going to leave it at um you know center center as it is so this is how i want it to look then if i come here i can increase the top padding if i give 160 here and then i give let's say 80 on the bottom so this is how it looks at first glance and then don't forget to publish your work. Then come to home, uh, you know, preview this on the front end. You see, it's looking quite good. You see this effect here. So we can go ahead. The first thing I want to do is that I want to add a section with two grids, two columns inside. And in this section, I'm going to add some pictures. So I'm going to click on this section here, come to style. And then I want to select, you see, I can add just a picture here. I want to, uh, I could add a gradient. I could add a video, but here I want to add a slideshow. So it's going to be two pictures and I'll upload them. So I'll upload these two pictures from my computer. I'll add them there. And then I'll just create a gallery. I'll click on insert gallery. Then here, let me come to style. I can make this to be minimum height 400. Let's just see 500. And one other thing I want to do is that I want this section to be, let's say 1000. So I'll click on these six dots, come to the layout and I want 
the width to be 1000 not 100 1000 rather and then I could choose to make this uh, you know 400 but I'll just leave it the way it is I want to give this entire section the background color go to the click on the six dots come to style a background color of black then here I want to add a head in the air some text and a button so what I'll end uh, I will do this I will bring this heading inside here I want to add some text I will also add some text inside here directly under the heading then I will add a button this is going to be the button so for this I'm going to see let's just see e-commerce com website and I want to break this two text to be on different lines I'm going to use a text breaker you see now let me use first of all put a foot full stop so that I type it out and you see everything it's not showing uh, another full stop maybe if I type it between so this is it doesn't show so just pick it up from here open brace forward slash br and then closing brace so i'll say ecom website and then i want this to be uh i'm going to change the font of this i'm going to make it to be shoulders big shoulders big shoulders display and i want it to be let's see 100 and i want it to be 700 weight i will just make it 800 weight and then this text i'm going to make it to be white and then I can make it to be 17 I'll pick up some text from here from the lorem ipsum remember we had this I'll pick up to here I'll copy that I'll come back here and paste the text inside here I'll paste that inside there that is that but one thing I want to do is that I want this area, it is too close to the edge. I want to give it an inside padding. I'll click on this uh, column, come to advanced. And then I want to increase the padding to be 20. I want the padding to be 20. Then I want to make this button. Let's say learn more learn more and then when we come to style i can make the text to be black i'll make the typography i can leave it the way it is i can choose it to be poppins poppins that is poppins i'll make it to be 600 bold and then i can give it a background color a border color rather solid 2px and it should be white and then the border radius i'll make it five so this is this so this is it in a nutshell now we could also give this entire column a border radius to make it rounder so I'll click on this column come to style border give it a border reduce so you see the picture is going to be rounded on the corners I'll just make it 40 so that is that you can see the way it looks now I'll just duplicate this I'll duplicate this and then I want to drag this column and switch positions 
I will give it a top margin. I will delete that. Rather, I'm going to give it a top padding. Or oh, I can add a spacer here. I will add a spacer. So, this spacer, I will go to advanced and I will go to background. I want to make it black. It doesn't quite give me what I'm wanting to get. Let me just uh, change the entire uh, section here. I'll click on these six dots, come to style, and then I'll make this to be black. Now for the space itself, I want to reduce the amount of space it gives. I can just see, let it be 20. That is 20. And then for this, for this one, I want to see portfolio. portfolio website and then I'll change the colors I'll change the colors of the pictures rather I'll click on this box I'll come here to edit I'll just add some pictures to gallery add some pictures to gallery I'll add this and this so those will be the two slider pictures so the pictures have loaded i'll say add to gallery now i'll just remove these two add this one to gallery so that is that for this section i want to give it a bottom padding i could have done the same thing here but i just decided to use a pad uh, a spacer I want to give him a bottom padding of maybe 20. I'll make it, let's just say 40 or 50. Yes, yeah, so I'll make it 50. And then I'll publish. I want to view on the front page. Our website is beginning to take shape. So this is, it looks exactly how I want it to be. Now I'm later on going to come and add some effects on this text before I close this uh, tutorial. I'm going to add some effects on this text. It's going to look a little bit, it's going to look a lot uh, different than it is now. But for the time being, I want us to add another segment. The next thing I want to do is that I want to give, uh, create another section, which is going to have a heading and it's also going to have the body. So the first thing I will do is to add a container and flex box and I'll choose this first one and I want to make this section to be totally black I'll give it a black background and then I also want to add a heading inside here and this heading text I want to see expertise expertise I want to come to style I want to center it I also want to make the typography to be shoulder remember we initially chose poppins to be the default for headers but i changed my mind i want it to be very big i want it to be 200 i also want it to be 900 that is uh the weight so this is this first of all i want to give this uh, entire section a top padding of close to 60. why not um you know 80. And then the second thing I want to do is that I want to duplicate this section. I will duplicate this section. Next, I need to add the stroke effect on the first line of text. So doing that, I'm going to have to use custom CSS, which of course, by now you are, you are aware that is only available to Elementor Pro. So I'll click here on the edit button, come to advanced, cause come to custom CSS. And I'm going to paste a line, some lines of uh, CSS code here, which of course, as you know, you also know, is going to be available for you to download freely. 
So I'll just paste the code here right now, which is that. And you see when I paste the code, it automatically turns uh, the borders to be this color, which is the same color we've been using, the same color we used here. For you to see the effect clearly, I'll come to the style tab and then I will turn this text to be black. So you see it there right now. And it's the same thing I want to come up here to this text here and do. Before we go ahead with the other, I'll come here and I'll come to advanced uh, custom CSS and paste this text here. So if I now come to style and I change this to black, you see that is that there. You could make this to be thicker, but I prefer it that way. I'm going to do the same here, come to advanced, come to custom CSS. I'll paste this here and then I'll come to style and then I'll post that there. So that is that. We can now go ahead with what we're doing right here. For us to continue, I'll actually need to change the text color here to be transparent. So to do that, I'll click on style, come to text color, and I want to drag this slider. It's still going to be the same because uh, our background is black. So, and I want to change this one now to be this color. I want it to be this color. Of course, we already have the color here. Here it is. I will just control C and then I want to come here and I want to go to style and I want to paste that hex code here. So we are now going to have to uh, superimpose these two lines of text. In order to do that, the first thing I want to do is to first of all give some bottom padding here of let's say 80. I, will, I can reduce it later on. So I want to superimpose these two. The first step is, first of all, if I come to this navigation here, you see the two lines of text. Let me just click on this first one and I want to come to advanced tab. I want to come to, and then you see here position. It says default. I want to make it absolute. And then for the second one, I want to do the same thing. I want to come to advanced tab. You see, there has been some movement here. Don't worry, we are going to fix that. I want to come to advanced tab and then for position, I also want this to become absolute. So both of them are on the same position right now. I want to, you see, this is the more reason why we had to increase the top and bottom pattern. Let me make this 180 top and 180 bottom. What I need to do is to now you know, position both of them, you know, to be in the center. So I'll come back to the first, come to advanced, and then vertical orientation, rather, horizontal, rather. What did I do there? I'm going to undo that. Position absolute. I had to go and undo what I did, the mistake which I did. So you see this uh, text, they are both superimposed here. You really can't see it yet, but they are both superimposed on each other. So the first thing we want to do is that I want to, I want to balance them to be in the middle. So the first thing I will do is I'll click on the first text and for the horizontal offset, you can make it 360, you see it shift to the middle. You do the same for the second one. Horizontal offset, it should be 360. So you see they are now both in the middle. Now we can add the custom CSS, which is going to make uh, this text here have that wave effect. So what we need to do is scroll down to custom CSS like we've done before and just paste this text here. So you see it looks like water, the waves of water. I want to give this area, I want to give it the top padding of um, 200. I'll remove this first. I'll remove this. And then I want to make this all black, first of all. 
when I did that, the color changed. I'll go back and give this 300. 300. And then the bottom, I can leave it the way it is. Now I'll give this instead a top party of, let's say, 100. Or I'll just add a section here. I think what I'll do, I'll just add a section here. I'll remove this. I'll add a section. And then make this, let me bring this up here. And then make this section, this entire section to be black. Let me uh, delete that section for now. I'll duplicate this section, duplicate this. I can just delete both of these. Delete this one too. So it's just a black section. I'll come to the padding, remove that. So this is just another section. I'll bring it up here. Now, let me look at this on the front end and see if there's anything that needs to be adjusted. So we see this. Okay, it's not yet really centered, centered aligned, so we can increase the horizontal offset. Now, let me look at this on the mobile, on mobile. So it doesn't really show on mobile. It doesn't really show on mobile, which means we have some work to do on the mobile layout. I'll come back to uh, the desktop and I want to give this horizontal offset. I want to make it, let's say 400 here. I'll come to advanced. I'll make this 420. And I'll also make this to be 420. This is it, 420. I'll publish this, come to home. Now we see it at the center. So we can go ahead with our work. I can make this area here. Let's see, let me give you the top padding of 100. And let's see how it looks now. We are trying to adjust this to give it the best look. So that is that expertise. Now we can go ahead. Now I want to give a heading. I want to give a heading to this section. I will simply add a section beneath here. And then I'll add the heading to it. First of all, I want to make this section to be totally black. I'll give it a black background. I just added a container. I'll give the container a black background. I'll also drag this text and put it here. And see, let's just see our work or past works. works not words i'll make this to be aligned to the center the typography is also going to be shoulders big shoulder display is going to be this is going to be let's say, let's make this 160 let's make this 900 and then we can drag this up here. We also want to give it a top padding. A top padding of 80, we can increase it to 100. Now, what we can do is, I'll just copy this CSS code from here and do the same there. I'll copy it here and I'll paste it here. And then I want to change the text to now be black. 
past works. So that is that. So we can proceed. I can give this uh, a bottom padding to of 10 or even 15. And now for our expertise, I want to add another section here. I'll add this flex box and I'm going to add uh, this uh, container with two containers inside. I will duplicate this and make this so that there will be three. Now I want to add another container inside here. I will drag this container and put it inside here. So inside this inner container, this used to be inner section, but there is no longer inner section in Elementor. So first of all, I want to add a heading. And first of all, let me make this to be black. Or can I make the background of this inner section to be black? Let me make the background to be black so that you can see what we are doing. So here, which is the text, I can see web and then I'll put a line breaker and see dev. Um, so for some reason, it doesn't show, it's showing me the line breaker. Maybe that's to your advantage, at least you see what I'm doing. But let me put the line breaker now here. So that is that. And this one is going to be poppins, of course. Now we can just use the same. Um, let's see if we use poppins here. Let's see how it's going to be. look. Poppins. Uh, it still looks good. If we reduce this. Let's see if we use poppins for these uh, smaller headings. Make this to be 90. If I put it on full screen, it shows me that way. Yes, we're going to use poppins here. And then I'll use poppins here too. I'll make this to be 90. Poppins. Poppins, so this is 90. If I save this and look at it on, that is good, that is good, that is good. For the sake of uniformity, I'll make this 85. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. This one too should be eighty-five. I will save that. Now come back here. I also want to make this to be centered. Not this text, rather, to be centered. I want to increase the size of the text. Let me see. 70. I want to add some text inside, text heading now inside here. I'll use the same lorem ipsum. I'll copy it here. I'll copy this. I'll come back here, I'll paste that text here. And then I'll come to style. I want to make this to be white. I want to make this to be centered. And then I can add a button here too. I'll add a button by simply dragging the button widget and putting it inside here. I'll align this, I'll make the button and say learn more. I'll align it to the center. 
I'm going to give the text color to be black. I'll make it Poppins or Ubuntu rather. Weight 600. And then the border. I'll make this to be white. And then the border reduce. I'll increase this to be five. Now I will give this entire container a padding. I'll give this a padding of let's say 20 all around. And then I'll make it 40 on top. I'll unlock it now make it 40 on top and then 40 under i still don't like the way it looks i can give it 40 all around i could make left and right to be 30 left right 30 and then bottom should be 50 and top 50 That is that. Now we are going to do some work here. So this is what we have. We are going to have to do some styling on this um, card, just as we have on the other cards. First of all, I want to give this inner container a bottom, a border color. I'll give it a border width. First of all, the border type should be solid. And then it should be two and then it should be white you will not quite see it now because of this uh, white background we could even make the border with to be three and then don't forget to publish your work the first thing we want to do is to give some form of uh, you know a shape effect behind here you can call it a skewed effect if you like and we are going to do that on this column the outer column itself, not on this inner column. We'll start by giving this outer column a margin. Let's just make the margin to be, let's say 22, or let's say 25. So we're giving the margin of 25, and then we want to add a CSS code here to give it kind of a skewed effect. So you see the way it looks, it has this effect which is a uh, triangular it's a uh, trapezium looking outside but also we want to give <coughs> a hover effect and also a blur effect to this box so what is going to happen is that when uh, you hover over this uh, 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 you know this box you are going to see a hover effect so we are going to add some css text for that some css code but before we do that, I want us to add some blur effect, some blur effect so that, you know, you are going to see kind of a background effect, blur effect on this background. Let me, I think it's important that I change this background to black, the entire the background of this entire section to black. I'll click on that, come to style and then come to classic and then I'll choose this, make it black. It shows our colors now. Now. Let me explain what is happening with this CSS code. I'll come to advance. You see the colors here. These are the two colors, uh, this white and this. So this black is in the middle, it's in the center. But this white, FFF is white, is the starting color. And then this is this color, which you see here. You could change these colors to whatever you want and you are going to see the background colors are going to be different. So for me to get that blur effect, I'll just paste this CSS code. So you see the blur effect. It's like it's a kind of a reflecting. It's kind of reflection effect. Now I want to add a hover effect so that when you bring your mouse over here, you will see that effect. Now I'm just going to paste the code here. Now you see, you see when I hover over it, it changes, it inverts the colors. 
when I hover my mouse, the colors are inverted. So that is the same effect we want to have. So, uh, like I said, all these codes, they are available. The CSS code, they are available. You know, I will post the document on the description of this video. I will just duplicate this now. And then duplicate these two. You are duplicating the outer column, not the inner one. I can just delete this one and delete this one too. And if I should increase the bottom padding, the top and the bottom padding, the top padding will be 40, the bottom padding will be 100. So this is this. If I publish this, I can just change this from and see SEO SEO OPT which is going to be optimization and then for this what can I see um, DGT let's just say DGT MKT which is going to be understood as digital. Okay. Oh, I could write here social. I hope it's not too big. Social media. That is that. So you could change this text here to be whatever you want. Let me publish it. I want to come to the front end. Of my website <clears throat> so this is what I see here. when I hover over this you see the color changes so this is this and if I should check this on mobile let's see how it looks on mobile so all of this we're going to adjust all of this for this it doesn't look too bad on mobile except for the fact that we may have to uh, you know reduce the size of this text here to make it mobile optimized and even here we could reduce uh, this um, uh, text content. Maybe it's too long. Let's say normal distribution after that. I will now copy this. Copy. And paste here. Copy this. And paste here. So you now see it's now looking better so this is it on the front end now what I want to do is that I want to add a testimonial carousel I want to add a testimonial carousel so for testimonials we want to make it a slider we want to make the testimonials to be a slider which are going to be sliding with the images and uh, of the people testifying and their testimony so for this we need to come to our we need to come to the back end and let's go to templates and we want to go to shift templates i don't have any templates here so i'm going to have to add this from scratch so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on add new template and i want to select page and i want to see yes name this t1 testimonial one it's loading now i want to make this i'll come to settings i want to hide the title and i want to make this to be elemental full width then of course you can save when you save i want to add this flex box and i want to add um, that with three containers now you see let's just use this one with four containers so that is that so inside this first one i want to add another container I want to add another container and the first thing I want to add is an image inside here I want to add an image I'll drag this one and put it here I'm going to select an image to use thus far we have just a few images I'll come to my downloads and I'll just upload all of these images it will take time to upload I'll insert this first image 
uh, yes, I'll insert that first image there. But one thing we want to do first of all is that I'm going to give this entire area a background color of black. I'm going to give it a background color of black. So I'm also going to give this a background color. I'm going to make give it a minimum height, let's say 400. Or if 400 is too much, I can change that. I'll come to style. I'll also give this a background color of black. Now what I want to do is I want to add some text under here. I want to add some text under here. That's going to be the testimonial. So this is going to be the testimonial carousel. Let me add some background text and I also want to give this a border just for now so that we can see. I want to give it a solid border. And let it be one, uh, two, sorry. I'll paste that there. And then I want to pick this Lorem Ipsum text. I'll copy some of that and paste it here. Maybe that's too long. I'll put it in brackets, in quotes rather. And then I'll see Jane Doe. I'm going to highlight this Jane Doe. I'll bold it and I'll make it in italics. Then I want to put a stroke here. So for all of this text, I want it to be white. I want this to be white and it is Ubuntu. I think it is okay the way it is. If I could make this 500 and reduce it to 15. Okay, so that is that. So this is how I want it to look. If I save this and preview. So this is exactly how it looks. Now we want to do some styling. First thing we want to do is that we want to choose the outer column. This outer column. I want to give it a padding of 20 pixels. Make sure to publish or to save your work. Now I want to come to this inner section. And I want to give a padding of 10. And then I want to come back to the border. And you could change this border color here to anything you desire. Now, if I bring my mouse here, I could just change it to this for tutorial purposes for now. And then I'll see if my work. Come to hover. I want to also give it this solid border. And I want to make it two border with two and then for this it should be transparent now border reduce uh, we can make this to be six here and even on normal we can make it to be six for the next step we are going to have uh, have to add some css uh, code not to this inner section but to the outer section now we have added a padding here to the outer section of 20. Let me use this uh, structure picker. This is the container. Okay, this is the... Let me check which of, which of them we are on. Okay, the, this is the first outer container. No, this is it. This is it. This is the entire container. Then this is the first outer one. And then this is the inner one. So this is the one we had added a padding. We had given it a padding of 20. So what we want to do is that we want to come now here to the CSS, uh, custom CSS, go to advanced tab, come to uh, custom CSS and paste 
this code remember i told you all the codes are going to be in the description of this video and we see nothing happens yet then we want to come here to this um we come to this entire section first of all we want to come and give it a top padding of let's say 50 not 500 let's just make that 100 and then we'll give it bottom of 80 so now we want to come here to advanced for this first column come to custom css and we pasted that code there we now want to come to this entire section come to advance and where you see z index or z index whatever you call it from wherever you are you paste one day now you see this effect if i publish this and preview it you can see when i hover over this it gives me this effect now the reason why is this tick is because the padding of this outer section is 20. if i make the padding to be one you see inside there that is what it shows now what i'll do to make this look better if i publish this and look it on the uh, look at it on the front end yes i want to give this inner section more padding so if i click on the inner section now i can choose that inner container from here and if i increase the padding increase the padding to let's say 25 and when i come now and preview this you see it looks a lot better so this is what it is this is how we have it when you hover over this you see this effect i'll duplicate this section first of all i want to give this uh, container i want to give this container and a margin i want to give it a margin of let's say 20 to space it out i will delete this i want to give it a margin of 20 so if i now duplicate and duplicate and duplicate again of course i have to delete this and delete this and delete this too so i'll change this one the picture i'll put this gentleman change the picture of this and put this uh, lady here i think there are two pictures that did not upload one of them is this beautiful lady here i'll add her picture there and then i'll add the picture of this gentleman so i can just change the names to maybe here john and the same here john so that is john and john let me preview this so this is what we see when we hover over the over it we have this effect that is that it's looking really really beautiful now secondly we want to add another um, another template i'll leave it i also want to come here to templates saved templates i want to add a new one and it's still going to be page and this one is going to be called t2 i'll create template so what i want to do here is to do almost exactly the same thing first of all i'll come to settings click on settings here high title make it elemental full width publish now i want to copy this template i just want to copy it 
I will copy it here and just paste it here. And I'll simply just change the pages too. I'll use this lady here. Use this gentleman. Use the next lady. Uh, this is the next lady. And then the last gentleman. So, and I'm going to save this. Now what I want to do on the front end of this uh, website, on the front page, if I preview this, it looks just as good as the last one. So what I want to do is that when I come here, I want to add them. Now when you use any of these, you created this template we come to these templates let's come to shift template you see that it gives us short codes and this is what we are going to use i'll come here and i want to add a new section i want to give it a black background of course and then i want to look for testimonial So I'll use this testimonial carousel. I want to delete this too. I want to delete the text here. I want to delete this image. I want to remove this. I also want to remove this. Now what I will do is, I'm going to come to this uh, saved templates. I'm going to copy the short code for T1. I'll copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. You will not see anything here because um, this is just a template. This is the dashboard. But when we preview it, you see it. If I publish this and preview this, there you have it. But it's not yet sliding because, and you see the text is now italicized. It's the style for this testimonial carousel you can go ahead and change that come to content and then for the content go to typography and for the decoration or transform no that's not decoration that's not transform let's go to decoration you can see none and then for the style, you can say normal. Let's see that now. You see now the text is normal. But there is nothing wrong if you leave it as a, a slider. So I will come now back here. And I want to duplicate this. And I want to copy this next short code and I'll put it here and then I'll publish that when I publish it you see now we have this slider here we can slide we can slide this and slide this and slide that now what I want to do is that I want to increase the size of this page I'll just click on these six dots and let's see if I make it full or let's just say I make it 1250 1250 and you see it's now a bit stretched out then of course we can add the we can add the text here the heading for us to be able to add, add the heading we are going to need to edit this template again make the top padding <coughs> to be less of this entire section so that we can add our heading here so what i'll do is this is the first one i'll edit with elementor and this one i'll also edit with elementor so this is the first one the top padding i'm going to make it let's say 10 10 
I'll publish that. This is the second one. I'm going to make the top padding to also be 10. And I'll also publish that. If I now reload this page, you see the gap there between this section and that section on top has reduced. What I will now go ahead and do, now if peradventure you said we wanted this to be full width, and I reload, you see it doesn't, what actually happens is the brackets, the uh, the um, navigation arrows that they slide right to the bottom. But you can change that, you can change that, you can change all of this here. When you come to width, you can make this 100%, come to additional options, and then you can choose, it should auto play, and then let's say pagination, you don't want any, arrows don't show. So if you come now to the home page and you reload, you see you don't have those again, but it auto slides. It's going to auto slide. Uh, because internet connection may be an issue sometimes, I will just keep the arrows. I will just keep the arrows and then the transition should be, let's see, 400. Now you see, so I'll keep that. I want to add the heading here. I want to add the heading here. So what I'll do is just, I'll just add a section here. No, what I'll do, let me just add it down here. Add this flex box, add this. And then I'll copy this, I'll copy. I added the section, okay. I'll make this to be black, the background to be black. I'll paste it here. And then I'll see uh, testimonials. Testimonials. I'll bring it up here. And then I want to give this a top padding. I can increase it as much as I want. Maybe to 80. So that is that. If I look at it now, this is what it looks like. And I should have used this color on these borders instead, but as it is, it is what it is. I'm going to leave it as it is. So these are testimonials and you see our expertise here. And then this is our past works. You can change these pictures to be whatever you want it to be. And then I want to add, I want the gap from between this to be a bit bigger and then we can change some items here what i'm going to do is that <clears throat> i'm going to drag i'm going to change the position of this our expertise is going to come on top of here and beneath that is going to be our passwords then testimonials so that is me closing the chapter for the home page so i'll drag this here And put this here. I will now save. And when I save and I reload this page, oh, 
passworks is still up there. Let me drag this and put it just beneath here. And when I save and look at this, so this is how our website looks like. So want to add other pages, this is the home page, want to add other pages. I'll, I'll add a page for our portfolio, which is just going to be the same like this, uh, passwords and all that. So I'll add a page for portfolio. I'm also going to add a contact page. So those will be the two pages. So I'll come back to the back end of our website. And if I come to dashboard, and I come to pages, I want to click on add new page. And I want to see portfolio. I will publish. I will edit with Elementor. Now I want to make this go to settings. I want to make this, I want to hide title. I want to make it to be Elementor full width. Then I want to add a section. I'll make it black background. I'll come to style, make this black background. And then I want to come to the front page. If I close this and just copy this. Copy and I want to paste it here and see our portfolio or let's just say portfolio. No, all uppercase. Portfolio. If you could choose to use this instead, this uh, text effect here, let's look at it on mobile. You know, we are going to have to adjust all of this on the mobile layout. You could choose to have that, but it may not show very well on mobile. So I'll just do that. Where was I? Okay, I'll say portfolio. I want to increase. I want to edit this and make. Let me edit this entire section. Come to layout. Mean height. Let's make this to be 350. And then I want to justify content to center and I'll say portfolio. Now, just out of curiosity, let's look at this on mobile. This is it on mobile. So for mobile, we can choose to reduce the size of the text. We are going to come to all of this shortly. So you can reduce the size of the text on mobile. And then you can reduce the minimum height of this section on mobile. To 200. So that is how you will do on mobile. I will just come here now. And what I want to do is, I want to copy this section. I want to copy this section. I want to copy and paste it here. Copy the same, copy this, paste it here. So you can do this as for as many items as you desire. I'll duplicate this. And I'll see here, I'll see landing pages. And then I'm going to come 
to this section, this column, click on the column, and then come to style. I want to change this. And then I'll select files. If I choose this and this, and then I upload. So those have been uploaded. I will insert gallery. I will just duplicate these two. And I could see whatever kind of website, LMS website. And then I will change the pictures too. You can change the text to whatever you desire. I will select files. And this. And I will insert. loading there you have it I will insert to gallery so if I save I reload this page I should have just tried to preview it so there we have this page let me preview this so this is our portfolio page. There you have it. I can give it the bottom. I'll just copy this text, uh, our hex code, Control C. Let me Control C. And let's say I want to give this a bottom here, this portfolio page. And then I just come here. I'll click on this entire section, come to style. Come to border. I want to give it a solid border, but it should just be the bottom border. I'll give it, let it be a width of two, and then I'll paste this here. I'll paste that there. I also want to give this a padding on top of here. I'll give this a top padding of, let's say, 50. Or yes, let's just say 70. And then I'm going to check it on. So this is how it looks. We could use it this way, we could do it this way. It makes brings out a certain level of beauty. Now I want to do the contact page. If I go to the dashboard and I go to pages, all pages. I want to add new and I want to make this contact page. I will publish and then I will edit with Elementor. It's loading. Now the same thing, I'll make this come to settings. High title, make this elemental full width. And then I publish. Now there's something which I should have done. I should have picked this. Okay, yes, Tango the page is still open. I'll just copy this. Copy this. And paste it here. And I'll say contact us. Or contact. And since I've already edited the mobile layout, it's going to be the same here. So it's a win-win. What I want to do now is I want to add another section here, make it black, of course. Now mind you, you don't need to do all of this, be changing all of this. You can just set the entire background of the website to be black. And then I will come to uh, the widgets and I want to look for form, form widget. I want to look for the form widget. 
let's just say maybe I want the form to be on one side and the contact form to be on the other side. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to first of all, let me close X out of this. I'm going to bring a container inside here and then I can duplicate the container. Let me just close this and just add the two container directly. No need going through all that work. I'll come to style and I'll make the background to be black. And then I'm going to paste this form here. So you see already it gives us this uh, button which is our accent color. Now what I can do is I want to see for this to be first name. First name. Copy. And then first name. And then the column width should be 50%. Column width 50%. And then I can duplicate this and just change this to be last name. Let's say we need the first name and the last name. Last name. And then we can see email and phone number. Email. We can make this to also be 50%. We can duplicate email again, choose it to be phone number. I'll copy this, I'll paste it here, and then for the message, the text area, we can make the rules to be more than that. Let's just see it. And then the input size, we can see medium. To change the size of these boxes, we can make it to be large. I prefer for it to be large. All of this. And if you want any of these fields to be required, you can just toggle on the required field. This one is required email is required, phone number is also required. So now let's come to style. We want to change the labels. You see, since it's on the black background, it doesn't show, we want to change them to be white. And we can also increase the size. Can make the size that way. Make this 700 and then the spacing can make it a little bit spaced from the field itself then let's come to the buttons this button you can make it to be aligned to the left this way or this way you can make it centered here it is full width so you can make this text to be on this end there is no point doing that we'll just leave it the way it is then we can change the text color now it is roboto we can see let it be ubuntu ubuntu and the text color should be black And we can increase the size of this to let's say 22 and the bottom padding that's the button padding we can see on top should be no not that 20 and bottom should be 20 you can do it this way or you can just reduce this a little bit to be 15 
and 15. So that is that. Then on this end, you can add your Google map. Search for map. And then you can put it there. So you can see that you can put your location, then the height, you can make it just be the same as this. I'll publish that. And if I view this on the front end, so that is that. This is your map, this is your location. And then you can also choose to steal add those testimonials under there i will copy the testimonials from the home page i will copy this i'll copy that and paste it here and then i also copy these testimonials And then I'll paste it here. If I now save and when I do a preview, you can see this is what it shows me. Now for this, on this page, maybe I want this testimonial text to be smaller so that it doesn't take the attention away from... Let's just make it 100. I don't want it to take attention away from the contact form and then I want the top padding to be 100 so when I preview this now I think I like the way it is I like the way it is if I now come I want to create the header and the footer I'll come back to the back end of this website and I'm going to come to templates and look for theme builder templates theme builder that's a theme builder there you can only use this theme builder if you are using Elementor Pro now if you want to learn how to use a free header and footer I have a video uh, how to create free head and footer. I have a video which addresses that. But you are not going to be able to use it with this Hello Elementor theme. So just search my my channel. I think I'll link the video down in the description. So let me come back. I think I was going too fast. When you come to Theme Builder, come back. I'll come back to Theme Builder. Okay, here we are on Theme Builder. You see header, click on that. And it's going to bring you to this page so you can already see it gives me this pre-made header template. Uh, I don't really think we should use any of these uh, because we can still use it but I think we should create us from scratch I'm going to close this and I want to add my own header I'm going to click on flexbox and I'm going to add this structure here so what I want to do first of all is to add a logo here. So you can either just add your logo if you've already added your site logo or you could just say add an image and then we are going to design our logo. Then we need to come and add and create our menu come back to your dashboard come to appearance on the appearance you see menus and I want to create a and see main menu and it's going to be added to the header and then now on this side I want to choose click on view all I want to choose which pages are going to be added to that menu I'll just select those three and add them there and then I want to realign them and then I'll save menu 
If I now view this website on the front end, you see it doesn't show me anything. And that's because at the beginning, I told us that we needed to set our home page. So come under settings and go to reading. And then your home page should be a static page. Select home and then save. Now, if I preview, if I open this page on the front end, you see I now have these three pages here. And this is our website. So, what I want to do is that I want to change, I want to design this header right now. Where were we? Okay, here we were. Now, for you to design your logo, I'm going to come to Canva and I want to create a new design. I want to create a new design and let's say custom size. I don't know which size is going to work best for you, but for me, I'm going to use 900 by, let's say 250. It's going to be a pretty flat design. Canva is free, just so you know. So 900 by 250. I don't know if 900 and 250 is the best. Um, I will just see. Let's just see. I want this. I want to put a text on text here. I'm going to add this heading here. And if I see the Nodio systems. Now, first of all, I want to change the color of this text to be my hex code. If I come back to my page and then I want to pick this Control C, come back here. I want this text to be that color. And then I want to change this background to be black so that you will not need to be doing transparent background. Now first, let me not make it too black because my background area here there is black. So let me just make it gray. I want to change this to, of course, shoulders. Shoulder. Big shoulders. I also want to, okay, it's already bold. Now, I want to come back here to the font big shoulder i want to open this drop down and it should be bold make sure it is bold and you can increase the text so this is this you can even increase it to the border to the edges of your design there's no problem with that. Since it's going to be on a black background. I want this now to be black, totally black. And I can download this now. You can increase the size and all that, but I will not do that. I will just download it the way it is. So it's downloaded to my computer. I'll come back to my design right now. Back to my design, my page. I want to select this. Here it is. I'll insert it. You see, it looks kind of funny now because we are not yet done with our design. First of all, I want to make I want to add um, the navigation menu here. I'll click on plus and it already shows you WordPress menu. I'll put that there. Uh, which menu do you want to use? So it's already showing me my pages. I want to make it centered. Then come to style and the typography is poppins. I want to reduce the size of the text and of course I'm going to change this to the shoulder. Big shoulder display. 
come here come back here come to content now okay it's already aligned and it's horizontal menu so what i want to do is that i'm going to change the color of this text to be white and you see the reason why very shortly not totally white for now and then here i can change at a button if i just come back to one of these pages i was editing and pick this button here if i copy this button come back here and paste it paste it and i line it center and i want it to be a contact button contact that is contact of course now i want to change the background of this entire navigation menu to be black so you now see why we had to make this white i'll change this to be white totally white and i think that font may not be very good there let's use ubuntu and i want it to be 500 pixels i want it to be smaller and instead of contact page here, it's supposed to be contact. I also want to push it to the, align it to the center. I don't know why it's not aligned to the center yet. It's supposed, it shows me that it's aligned to the center, but it's not really aligned to the center. So what I'll do is, I'll give this a top padding, or a top margin rather. Of 12 and then I'll give this come here to the contact button actually what I was supposed to do would have been on this entire container I'll remove this part in here this margin here and then this entire container I want to justify content to the center so it just does that automatically I'll do the same here justify content to center so this is our heading let's look at it on mobile so on mobile <clears throat> we see it has this uh, hamburger menu here we can change the color of the hamburger menu since we have just um, these three text here when we come to content since we have just three items now let me publish this and add condition it should be on the entire website and all pages so the conditions you are simply telling elementor where do you want this uh, menu to be shown so i will save that but there is something i want to do i want to come back to my pages and i want to edit this page i'll just say quick edit and say contact not contact page so since we have just a few pages here when i come to um menu here i can choose this to be vertical and i change the color let's say the drop down text color should be white toggle button should be white now if i come here and i'm looking for breakpoint i'll say none you see it's going to show me these buttons and I want it to be horizontal so what I can do is that I can reduce the size of the text on mobile I can reduce the size of the text on mobile and then 
I can also swap positions for this. No, I'll bring this back here. And then what I want to do is I can make this to be with 50. I'll make it in percentage instead. So this should be 50%. And then this should also be 50%. So <clears throat> when you make it 50%, isn't it, it becomes possible for you to put both of them on the same line. I actually want to make this 40% on mobile. Then I want to align it <clears throat> to the left. I'll just make, let, let me just make it 50% for simplicity. So this is how you can have a, um, a horizontal menu on mobile. So if I publish this now. So let me look at this website now on the front end. <laughs> okay, it has affected it even on the desktop view. So what I'll do is that. I will duplicate this entire thing and then for this I'm going to hide it on mobile it should be this should be the mobile menu so I'm going to hide it on desktop rather so I'll click here come to advanced and then when you see responsive since I want this to be the mobile menu I'll hide it on desktop it's also going to show on tablet so for this i want it to be the desktop menu so i'll hide it on mobile i'll come to responsive and first of all the first thing i'll do is i'm going to increase this back to i'm going to bring this back here not that yes okay there So I brought that there, but it's not actually what I want. I'll bring this back here and then I'll make this a hundred percent. I'll make this to a hundred percent. And if I hide this on mobile, and decks and a tablet and i preview this okay you see our our header is has come back to normal so if i look at the page if i reload this page so this is this this is this later on i'm going to give a little bit of space between these two elements so the next thing we want to do is to add a padding not padding rather a footer i'll come to the dashboard and same on the same as you had on the i'll come to team builder and i want to come to footer I'll come to footer, click on add new. Let me just close some of these pages. It makes work a little bit confusing sometimes. So it gives me this sample footers. I could just use any of this for simplicity. For the sake of simplicity, I could use any of this. Let me just use this. Of course, you already know how to do all of this. So using this sample footer is not going to be a problem for you. So we have this here. I will delete this image. I just want this to be the way they are. I can change this image to here. 
could use any image like this one and then this is going to be this text here Control C to control our hex, copy our hex code. So if we want to edit this section, let's say content, request a free consultation and price estimate. I will leave that the way it is. If I come to the background here, of course, I want to change all of this to black. I'm not seeing any change. I'll come to this. I'll come to style. Content. Background, I'll change this to black. Then the title, I'll change it to white. And then this other one, I'll first change it to white to see it clearly. And then I'll paste our hex code there. Then I want to change it to the typography, I want to change it to everything. I'll change this. Let's say I'll change this. To Ubuntu. That is that. Then for the button, I'll change that to that. Then the border color, I'll change that to that. Then all of this section here too, I want to change it to be black. Background color, let it be black. All of this should be black. Text color, white, sorry, white rather. I'll just copy this style, paste this style here paste star for all of these social media buttons I want to use our same color here primary color should be this then hover color of course you can see there I'll publish and then I'm going to add the display conditions, entire side of course, and then singular. So if I now take a look at this website on the front end, this is it. So this is our website in a nutshell. This is a digital, uh, digital website or our agency website. That's the portfolio page. That's the contact page. <clears throat> now we want to edit uh, the mobile layout of our website. I'll close these pages. I want to check out the mobile responsiveness. For this page, we already checked it out and it was mobile responsive. Uh, so let's check the contact page again. You see the contact form perfectly mobile responsive. And this we can check it on our mobile phones. You can check it on your mobile phone. You see it's pretty mobile responsive. For the home, let's look at this. We see it's not really what we want it to be. So if I click here and on mobile, I come to typography. So 
So you can decide to leave it like this. You can decide to leave it this way. At least the other text that way does not show. You can also decide this is 93 or let's say 94. You can decide to leave it this way. Maybe 93, 94. The other text does not show because when it's all not on the same line, there is a, 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 some form of repetition. Or you can just decide to make it in such a way that the entire line is shown like this. I think to me, I'll make this to be 93. Then I'll save. And then this text, I'm just going to come to the padding and remove the padding. I'll just reduce the size. Let me make it 14. That is that. For this, we don't even see it. So what I'll come and do is, I'll come here. And if I duplicate this. And I reduce both. But let's see, I duplicate this and for both of them, I want to remove the offset. I'll hide this on desktop first of all, this entire section. I'll come to advanced and hide it on desktop. So if I come to mobile and I change the horizontal offset, I remove it. So let's just see, I remove the horizontal offset of this and I also remove the horizontal offset of this. I will do the same, it should be zero actually. So this is this, it's showing on, it's now showing, but it's too large. So I'll come and reduce the size of the text. Let me reduce the size of the text again to 80. And then the other one, remember there were two text. Okay, so that is that. And then I can make both to be centered. We can now change the horizontal offset, you know, the horizontal offset. Let's make it to be centered. Make it 20. And then this one will also make it 20. So this is going to show only on mobile. And then this entire section, this entire section, I want to reduce the bottom padding. I think the top padding, we have it here. So I'll increase the entire padding. I'll make that 60. Let me just take it to 65. So you see it now. It shows clearly. On mobile, we can also reduce the size of this text. We can make the mobile size to be, let's say, 12, here too, 
is going to be 12. And also 12 here. You can also see that this text they look too big on mobile. So on desktop is 70, I'll just make it 50 on mobile. And then it shall also be 50. So it's going to be 50 on mobile. And 50 on mobile so it aligns perfectly for password we can do the same just reduce the size to 120 and then the text I will change this text size to let's say 50 and this will also be 50 testimonials you will not be able to see it here since it was a short code I'm going to change this to 60. For this text, these are images. You can reduce the minimum height to let's say 300 each. Minimum height to 300. 300 also. So that is that. You can also hide this entire section. On mobile hide it on mobile and desktop you also hide this on mobile and desktop come to advanced responsive no not attribute responsive hide on mobile and desktop so that is that so you can go ahead and do this for the entire website as for the footer it's already responsive because it was a template if i now come back i will check it back on mobile to see if anything has broken because sometimes when you do sorry on desktop when you do a mobile responsive de design it breaks stuff on the desktop what i want to do for this one is now i'm going to come here and even on On desktop I want to reduce the line height to something that is suitable let's say 400 I'm trying to see which this one to line height 400 I want to give this a top padding to put some space of 50 so that is that <laughs> so now this is our website and trust me it's looking pretty good we can also add some padding on top of this 
testimonials. We can increase this testimonial, the top padding, to be up to a hundred. And it will reload this. So that is that. That is that. So there you have it. This is how to build, you know, a digital agency website or social media SMME marketing uh, agency website. You can see the home, you can see the portfolio. You can see the portfolio here. And you can also see the contact page and the form, the Google map and this. If you got any value out of this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell and post a comment for any other video you want me to create. God bless you. Peace.